Yes, ma'am, I'm going to ask Dr. Burnett to begin that. You have the uh, superintendent's report summary that starts on page 21. It includes all the uh, April items from 1 to, uh, from A to I. And what we would uh, ask that you, instead of making a presentation on each report, we would just ask the opportunity to entertain any questions that you might have from any of those reports. Point by point, or just the whole. On on all of the reports and listed in item number one, which are all the April information items, you have those before you. And if you would like a presentation on each one, we'll be happy to do that, uh, or we'll, we can entertain questions about any of the reports. At, at your pleasure. I'd like to hear about the administrative costs and where they are, and and, and where we see them leveling out. And certainly, sir. Teresa, you want to address that? Yes, sir. The administrative cost ratio as of April 30th is 5.87%, which is below the budgeted cost ratio of 6.05%, and well below the district standard of 11.05%. Yes, that's, that's what it reads, but is that is that where it's going to stand? Is that where we are? What what else is, are we doing? Are we intending on hiring anybody else? Are we about the resignations we expect? Um, right now we're <clears throat> not, we've changed some positions as I've shared with you since we've done the administrative reorganization and there's some new positions, but what we haven't done is um, we've reduced our overall cost and we are not, we're going to remain neutral or go below that. So um, positions have changed, but the costs have, uh, have not gone up and uh, actually they've decreased. And that, is, and that includes the new zone? Yes, sir. Dr. Waddell, that brings a question to my mind. Maybe I just didn't understand what you just said, but your intention is to stay at or below? Where we are currently, okay. which represents the reductions that we made. Okay, thank you. doesn't look like our interest rates are going up at all, right? No, but we are continuing to have some conversations with our, not only our depository bank, but with other options that we can to pursue, to pursue at least some uh, uh, options to, to uh, squeeze a little more interest out of those, out of that, those investments. Thank you. If there are no other questions, we'd like to uh, to move to the uh, construction report by Mr. Perry. Thank you, Dr. Burnett. Uh, Madam President, uh, Dr. Waddell, members of the board, uh, I think it's important to mention to everybody, again, the certificate of occupancy was achieved by Poe Construction on our Louisville 9th and 10th grade campus south of 3040. Uh, that is always a great success when we open the building on time. Uh, they did that. Uh, we were ready for kids to come down and camp. We've had uh, a great first day of camps down there. Uh, might also mention that work continues throughout the summer on the north campus, bringing it up to the same level of quality as our south campus, the technology upgrades, projectors, and et cetera, going on up to, on the north campus of Kilo to make that comparable to our south campus. Uh, we had a very busy uh, week at Forestwood Middle School. Uh, you can imagine moving out a, a middle school in just a matter of two days. That takes a lot of men. It looks like a, a large group of ants. Uh, everybody's carrying something out of the building. Uh, we continue with that through, throughout the summer. Uh, if you want to watch an amazing sight, renovating one of these buildings in about eight weeks is uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as fast as you can go. So it's uh, anticipate uh, no problems there and anticipate getting that completed on time. Uh, Louisville High School, our main campus, continues an opportunity to spend the majority of the day there today with the team. They're confident to finish on time. I keep saying August 1st. The contractor keeps reminding me his contract says August 4th. It's every minute that he can have to finish that project. Be glad to enter entertain any other questions. We have numerous maintenance projects ongoing throughout the summer uh, and into the fall. Uh, we'd be glad
glad to talk about any of those or any projects that are ongoing. Is uh, Coolsville High School, you don't see any issues? Nothing's cropped up yet? This one happened, it is, an, it is an incredibly aggressive schedule. The contractor assures me he is on track to make that August 4th deadline. Mr. Berry, could you send me an updated plan? I think the one that I have was the draft that back when we were thinking about doing something. And I don't think that's really what, what the end result was. Uh, of the main campus, Mr. Lane? Yes. Main campus. If you have no other questions, then we will go to uh, Mr. Williams for the facility report. Uh, thank you, Ms. Craig. Uh, board members, you have a facilities report in front of you, a pretty lengthy document uh, detailing the highlights, about 2,500, almost 2,600 work orders completed for the month of April. Uh, at the back of the report, you'll see that we continue to make progress on our utility consumption. Electricity is down significantly over the same time period the previous year. Natural gas is down. Water's up slightly. Very hard to control water, but we uh, water usage. But we continue to make significant uh, uh, reductions there. I would uh, note for the board that this is the first day of our new contract for custodial services with Sodexo. Uh, I am happy to report that almost 90% of the existing custodians have gone to work for the new company. Every custodian that that wanted to was offered a job. Uh, I think we're off to a great start. Uh, we've had a few hitches along the way, but we continue to adjust those, and uh, uh, just happy for uh, the transition to take place, and I believe we're, we're off to a good start there. Uh, the, uh, also, the Sodexo will employ our custodians through the summer where the previous vendor did not do that. So, been some concern about pay, rate of pay, but they get two more months of work and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have or not have Mr. Craig. Okay, our technology update, Mr. Beal. Dr. Waddell, board. A uh, number of projects uh, ongoing during the summer. You know, people many times tell us that, well, it must be good to relax during the summer, but what they don't really understand is that we have intense activity in uh, uh, refreshing the computers across the district, which is going on right now, and we're, the project to upgrade the wireless in our high schools so that we can continue on with success with our Bring Your Own Technology, technology Initiative is in high gear, and uh, we're excited about uh, what we're doing for that. Something I did not have on the report that I did want to mention to you, uh, today we started with our summer classes for technology. We have 52 classes going on during the next uh, three months. Uh, and some of those titles include all different levels of smart board usage, uh, Word, uh, iTunes University, Live at EDU, and Web 2.0 tools, uh, Microsoft Windows 7, Outlook, PowerPoint, uh, School Web, which is our uh, interactive system, uh, curriculum management system. We have a number of levels of school web going on with our teachers. Um, the, uh, we also have a number of what we call the technology academies for our teachers. That's where our uh, instructional specialists work directly with the teachers on what they will be using, the kinds of technology that they'll be using in their classroom so that when they start uh, the school year next year, they'll hit the ground running uh, and really make some uh, amazing uh, work with the kids in the classroom. And if you have any other questions, I'm certainly glad to entertain you. Any questions, Lord? Richard Bill, can you, uh, <coughs> can you, uh, no, can you uh, share with me a little bit about your pilot at Hebron High School, Bring Your Own Technology? Yes, we uh, uh, are really very, very excited, and I know that the kids are excited uh, at the ninth grade center. Uh, we had a, a survey here a couple of weeks ago from the teachers and we got uh, input back from the teachers and very positive input from the teachers but we also learned some some uh, areas that uh, we need to work on with our uh, tweaking our network and tweaking our instruments that the kids uh, have available to them that they bring in and, and their connection but uh, we've, we've had a great deal of success and uh, the teachers are really excited it's amazing what uh, 
has gone on in those classrooms uh, at the ninth grade center. And we think we can continue to uh, implement that across the district um, in the next school year. What type of devices did they take? They have brought in all types of smartphones, iPhones, uh, uh, all, all, again, all types of smartphones that they're using in the classroom. They brought their own notebooks to class, classes, number of iPads and other types of pads. Uh, when you walk into a classroom, you'll see uh, many different types of uh, technologies that kids bring from home that work right into uh, the lessons that teachers are utilizing. Um, it's, it's, again, it's very exciting. Give me an update on the Zangle on the, the comprehensive database and the dashboard reporting. Yes, uh, we're continuing to work on that. You'll, you'll see one of the um, purchasing areas that we're, we need some help with is, is some additional work in the Cognos reporting system. Of course, we're, we're looking at and still working on the student information system, and that'll be mentioned here in a little while, but we're not, not quite ready to, to uh, make a commitment on that and one of the big pluses that one of the systems that we're looking at has is a uh, is access to the state's newly developed system uh, data warehouse system now uh, you know you say well we're already working on data warehouse system yes but what it's done for us is to give us the expertise to be able to manage and report in and out of uh, data systems so I think we're, we've got a, a really good head start. I think the state recognizes that, that we are uh, a prime candidate for them to use uh, as a front runner in uh, not only student information system, but in the state data warehouse. And that'll be, we'll, we'll know more about that in the next couple of weeks. That's great news, thanks. I'd like to thank Mr. Bill for all that he's done in the technology department. One of the favorite um, notes that I got in January, school board recognition from the little second graders, I think, oh, we just love our smart boards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, I just think that it's uh, this smart board initiative is just going to be fantastic. And I know that the technology department has won many awards through the years, and I'm sure we're just going to continue. So thank you very much, and I wish you well.